what my kids eat in a day. Super hungry lately. A very fussy eater. Or Tried to make it himself. He loves to be in the kitchen. It has literally saved our lives from these messy eaters. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a what my kids eat in a day. If you guys don't know already, this is my son Jacob. He is four years old and he has level three autism and is a very fussy eater. And I also have a beautiful daughter, Jazz, and she is two years old. She is starting to get a little fussy, but she, for the most part, will eat lots of food. Jacob is also a bad sleeper, so he woke up at 3 a.m. and requested chips. So I gave them to him just to get a little bit more rest myself. Salt and vinegar is his fave. Jazz woke up at 4.30 and requested wheat bix so I made both of them some wheat bix with honey and almond milk. Jazz ate all of hers and Jacob didn't. After a couple of hours, I chopped up some fruit and put a K-Time baked twist bar on their plate and they had that for morning tea. I am pretty lucky that both of my kids love fresh fruit and will eat lots of it during the day. So they had some strawberries, some blueberries and oranges. They both ended up eating all of their fruit and only left half of their bars left each. And I leave these out for them to eat if they get hungry later on. It is now almost nine o'clock and I'm packing Jacob's therapy lunch box. He has some favorite treats in there to reinforce his therapy activities. And I also pack him some cordial. While Jacob was in therapy, Jazz requested her favorite food ever, the yogurt, the strawberry Coles yogurt. She loves it so much and requests it about 10 times a day. And she saw the Nutri-Grain packet and really wanted some, so I gave her a bowl. Jacob was struggling to stay in his room for his therapy session, so I gave his therapist a little fruit snack to encourage him. You may have been noticing what products the kids have been using during mealtime, so this brings us to today's sponsor, which is Hello Sunshine. Hello Sunshine have created a toddler messy tray and messy mat to help with the chaos of mealtime. The messy tray suctions to the table to minimize mess and capture spills at the dinner table. As you all may know, Jacob is a sensory seeker, so food and eating time is always a sensory experience. So I love that this mat protects our floors and it's super easy to clean afterwards. If you have a messy eater or a sensory seeker, definitely go check these products out. They are available at Big W online and in store and also online at giftplayground.com.au. It has literally saved our lives from these messy eaters. Okay, so now that therapy is over, it is time to make lunch. I am gonna make both of them a sandwich of avocado and Vegemite. If you haven't tried this combo, definitely try it. It's a family favorite in our household. Even when Jacob was at his fussiest, this was one way I could get an avocado into him is combine it with Vegemite. Jacob is also loving tuna, so I added some to his plate. Jazz is not a huge fan, and I added some pretzels to each and some blueberries. Jacob doesn't always like his food to touch, so he scrapes off the avocado and Vegemite, but then he ends up eating it anyway. And he also brings the food out for a walk every so often because he is so hyperactive. Jacob has also started carrying around this container full of everything and he has also stashed all of his food scraps in there as well so I took those out of there. Jazz is preferring the pretzels and as you can see Jacob is in the fridge seeking out some more food and turns out he was actually seeking the container of tuna because he prefers the tuna be in the container and eat it out of there than on his plate. I think Jacob is going through a growth spurt because he's eating a lot lately. Okay, so we just had a bit of a mess. Jacob grabbed the porridge out of the cupboard and tried to make it himself. He even got the milk out. Good job, Jacob. But you need to put it in the bowl. You need to put it in the bowl. So obviously Jacob wants some porridge instead of his lunch. Obviously he asked for some porridge, so I gave it to him. Just a bit of porridge with some blueberries that were on his plate. Pretty much ate his sandwich. He doesn't like eating crusts. Um, I put the blueberries in his porridge and he ate most of the tuna that was there and a bit more tuna that was in here. 
Jacob is seems to be going through a gross spurt at the moment where he's eating a lot of food. Um, it's kind of helped a little bit in widening his the amount of foods that he eats. The other day he ate a salad sandwich on his own accord. He, he does tend to eat the same foods. He's sort of trying a few more things lately because he's been so hungry. <laughs> Yummy sandwich. Mm. Yeah. Anyone know any tips on how to get kids to eat the crusts? They both won't eat them. So Jacob just requested another bowl of porridge. I told you he's been super hungry lately. And Jazzy's almost finished her sandwich. Jacob has previously been a very fussy eater, although recently, and I say in like the last week or two, he has been eating so much more which makes me super happy, but he still won't eat a lot of foods. He was so hungry that he even ate two of Jazza's sandwiches as well. Crazy. <laughs> I usually just wipe down the trays after every meal and at the end of the day, I'll wash them. Super easy to do, super, super easy. So after they were finished with their lunch, <coughs> I sort of combined their food and put it over here. I had about half his porridge of the second bowl and I just combined the rest of their food on this plate and then I will close this gate so they don't go into the kitchen anymore and that's the food they have access to if they get hungry. I then refilled their bottles with water. And while Jazz is napping, Jacob and I are gonna make some muffins. I have found that cooking with Jacob has been a great experience and he also finds it a great sensory experience as you can tell he loved playing with the flour and it got all over him but he definitely loves to be in the kitchen playing and cooking with me. Dairy. Cheese. Cheese. There you go. So Jacob does a lot of requesting for food, but when it's food that's not typical chips or mandarin, um, he has to like have a lot of prompting to get to where he wants to go. So usually he'll go to either chips or ice block mandarin. They're his favorites. Obviously that's what I packed him for his therapy but he did want some cheese from the fridge. So I told, I got him to this menu and he chose cheese. I then put some of the Simple Spectrum supplement into Jacob's Cordial, so easy to hide and it's super, super nutritional for him. Gets him all the nutrients he misses from food. Okay, so Jacob is like completely <laughs> starving all day long. He's continuously going into the fridge while we're making our muffins. Whoa. So I gave him a yogurt. Sometimes he eats this, sometimes he doesn't. He only had one bite. So the muffins didn't end up tasting too good. So Jacob sort of picked and prodded at it and he didn't end up eating any, but he did want to finish off the oats that he left behind before. All right, it's dinner time, so we're gonna make some simple pasta with some better protein pasta and some sauce and some zucchini. I always like to include some kind of vegetable to Jacob's foods, even though I know he probably won't eat it. I think it's good to expose him to these vegetables in hopes that one day he will eat them. I don't know what it is, but Jacob is super hungry today and he's like tapping me on the shoulder ready for his pasta when it's not even cooked. Jacob has really struggled with food in the past, so I'm really happy to say that today was a really good food day and he ate so much. He's also a sensory seeker, so I think that that helps in him wanting to seek lots of different foods and has a need to chew and fill up his mouth. Jacob separated the zucchini out and didn't end up eating that, but he ate all of the pasta and even had a second bowl. Pasta is usually a good sensory experience for Jacob and it always ends up on the floor so I'm so glad we have the messy mat to get all of that mess even though Jacob likes to pick up the food that he drops on the floor and eat it. 
I also love the feature on the tray that it can catch any of the spills. So it catches any food my kids would usually fall on the floor and it doesn't waste the food. So Jazz is now having dinner and she loves corn so she definitely went for the corn first and ate two pieces of the corn before she started to eat her pasta. Jazz is a very good eater, but she is also a very messy eater as well. So this little spill catcher has been amazing for her to get all of the food that she usually would fall on the floor. Jazz also loves learning all of the names of all the vegetables that are on the tray. We even get Jazz to point out a vegetable that she'd like for dinner, so it gives her that little bit of choice, which I think encourages her to eat the vegetable more than she would normally. Jazz is very cheeky and when she starts getting full, she starts to throw food and play with it. So definitely love that mat there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you to our sponsor, Hello Sunshine. If you'd like to check out their range, I'll leave their details in the description below. They also have other products in a nursery collection, so definitely go check that out. for another video you might enjoy and here for our most recent upload and click here to subscribe to our channel to join our journey.